Hi everyone, I'm Tatiana Ekmekchen and welcome back to your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Since July, COVID cases have doubled in the state of California. That being said, people are more active with getting tested and trying to stay healthy. LA County has placed free COVID testing sites throughout the city. I took to the COC testing site to talk to Sergio Chaparro, one of the testing site attendants. Uh, the week of Thanksgiving leading up to it, we were pulling 570, 590, you know, patients a day. And then after Thanksgiving, it's about 540s, 550s. In order to assist the high demand of patients, the site attendants must be well protected. While here on site, I'm not as worried about my exposure. As you can see, we do N95s, face shields, I'm wearing gloves. When outside of the site, I'm a little more worried because I hear the stories of people who come through here where they're just like, oh yeah, I just had a barbecue with like 20 other people. We had people come in from out of town. I'm here because my job makes me. I don't believe it's a problem, but I don't have another choice. And again, as time goes on, we see more and more of those. That's what worries me more than yeah. anything else. For most, hard work has not been put on hold due to the coronavirus. For those in the construction industry, this time has been used to work even harder. Meet David, an optimistic pursuer of the American dream. Me llamo Jose David Flores. Tengo 21 años. Si me veo como me veo en un en un gran lugar con mi propia compañía. After leaving his family for a better future and with skills he acquired from serving the Colombian military, he set his mind for success. Ahora, te pregunto, ¿cómo se siente a trabajar aquí dentro de un ático? Así haya calor, así hay que terminar los proyectos. Mientras se trabaje rápido y y se salga no hay no hay tanto inconveniente. With hopes to study engineering and become a citizen, David reminds himself why he worked so hard. Planteate tus propios sueños, planteate tus metas y realízalas a costa de lo que digan los demás, sin importar eso. Tú concéntrate en tu vida, en tu mundo, y si tienes familia, apóyate en ellos y no dejes que, que otros te revuelvan la cabeza y te llenen tu mente de ideas erróneas sobre for Canyons News, I'm Eddie Rodriguez. Inspiration like this can be found in the darkest places. Just like David, 15-year-old Aziza Rodriguez persevered to create her own path. With big dreams of playing D1 softball and making the USA team, Aziza Rodriguez has faced challenges beyond the normal 15-year-old. Her mother had an alcohol addiction, and at 10 months old, they were separated. Rodriguez was adopted by her grandmother, who then became her mom figure. She's my mom. My grandma's my mom. And my biological mom is just my biological mom. Like, she doesn't get the mother title. When Aziza reached the fifth grade, her grandma was diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. It was on March 17, 2016, when she passed away. I cried as soon as I stepped into the funeral and my mom flew down actually from where she lives and like seeing her I cried because it shouldn't have been my grandma if that makes sense it shouldn't have been my mom that passed away Rodriguez broke down after the loss of her grandmother but as time went on she decided to move forward and make her proud I think of the stuff that my mom has done and I'm like I don't want to I don't want to be like that. Like, I want to be happy. I want to be an energy that people feed off of. Whether it's energy off the field or on, Rodriguez uses softball as an outlet. The feelings I get on the mound, like, I really can't describe. Because, like, when I'm on my game, I'm on my game. And the feelings I get, it's like an adrenaline rush. Like, I'm just like, nothing can stop me. Though Rodriguez sometimes reflects on the past, she's ultimately grateful and appreciates the people in her life now. Sometimes, like, I see my friends and they have a mom and a dad that, like, loves them and takes care of them. I see that and I'm like, I wish I had that. I wish my mom didn't do bad things. I wish my dad didn't leave. And then I think of it, I wouldn't know half of the people I know today if this didn't happen. I wouldn't know all of my softball friends. I don't think I'd ever play softball. So I'm, on another level, I'm really glad this happened to me. For Canyons News, I'm Sarah Perez. In these difficult times, students are having trouble getting the help they need from counselors online. 
On the other hand, counselors have been feeling like they can't properly guide students. Here's Adam Ortega on ways one COC counselor is trying to make a change. COC counselor Liz Sheke has dealt with a lot due to the global lockdown. Between her own obstacles and the students' struggles, Liz has adjusted to this dramatic change in her counseling career. We did not learn online counseling in grad school, um, but honestly, now that we're doing it, I think it's even made our department better and stronger and more accessible to students. So even when we do go back to the office, I think we're going to keep a lot of these practices. While making these adjustments, Liz has learned that these circumstances have in a way made her student appointments better. When we're online together and our cameras are on, it's just the two of us with fewer distractions. And I think that's changed how I start my appointments. Now that we've been in this COVID environment, I always start off with, well, before we start off, tell me how you're doing. Even after everything that has happened this year, Liz continues to learn and grow as a counselor. She has taken full advantage of her situation as she helps students adjust like she has done so well. For Canyons News, I'm Adam Ortega. That's all we have today from the Canyons Newsroom. Be sure to visit our website at canyonsnews.com and stay up to date with all of Valencia's latest through our social media accounts. For Canyons News Reporting, I'm Tatiana Ekmechin.